Hey everybody, J&A Review, and we are on the road. Today we are at A&L RV Sales here in Sevierville, Tennessee. And we'd like to say a special thanks to them for allowing us to be out here on their lot and shoot these videos. Today we're excited to bring you a 2024 Brinkley Model Z, model number 2900. So let's get started. The length on this 2900 Brinkley is 32 feet, 11 inches. The dry weight is 11,674 pounds. And that hitch weight is 2,081. Yes, we are so excited to finally be able to see some Brinkleys. Um, the Z models, I believe, are their first line that they came out with. Yes. So yeah, these, um, May have been out a couple of years, but we're just a little bit behind. So well, we're I think the 3100 was actually out first, mm -hmm. and then they done this one. You know, I could be wrong. <laughs> I tend to be wrong. But we're so. we're still excited to see these. They are we're just they are just awesome. All of your uh, water connections are going to be here. Um, wow. Yeah. So it feeds through here. So here's one side of your storage. Your leveling system is going to be located in here. Uh, this does wow. have a Furion water heater. I love that they do, um, their, their graphics make it look like you have one huge window. So you really don't see your windows. Very nice, very nice. One of your dump areas is right down there. Let's come on around the back. Now this one is going to already have your backup camera in place. You've got some. You've got something back here. We don't know what this is. We just we just now walked around. Oh, really cool. Wow, nice storage. Hope that all shows up. Uh, it does have a plug-in and a light in here. You do have a hitch down here for and a four-way pin, just um, in case you want to tow. But we don't suggest. Yeah, it, I don't. I don't think you should tow. But it would be great for a bike rack. Um, big frameless windows back here. Got your ladder to go ahead and get on top moving around through your campsite you're going to have two awnings oh. again these big windows are just so nice here's going to be the other side of your pass-through storage you do have a plug-in and a place for um, tv up here your outside shower you're going to have some lights here um Okay, I'm not real sure exactly what this is. If somebody knows what this is, please let me know. Your propane is gonna go here and right up front. Nice storage area, and of course your batteries will go in here. All right, this is gonna have um, four-point electric stabilizing. So let's go right on inside and take a look. Oh, and I also just spotted your propane quick connect oh. right under there. Coming on in, we'll take a quick look around. Now, we do not have lights um, today. We, we don't have access to power. So, we're hoping that the windows are going to let in enough light. But this is just... This is... It is just really pretty. The cabinetry is light. Um, it's kind of a soft gray color, so in case that doesn't show up on the cameras, that's that's what color they are. Let's start right back here at the back. This is going to be your traditional rear living. Um, big cabinets across the top, and we we have um, already commented to each other about how these cabinets feel. They yeah. just they feel very good. I mean, like what you would want in your home. Excellent. Hidden storage here, and you have power. Oh, so I can on both sides. That yeah. is so very cool. Um, now we have seen these on other videos, and I always wondered about why the sofa and the theater seating didn't match, and I thought I didn't like that. But when you see it in person, 
it makes sense. It does actually look really good together. Uh, the inner seating's got some storage here and wireless charging for your phone. Um, let's see, you're gonna have heat, massage, you got another USB in here. <coughs> You've got cabinets up across the top. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out and then I'm gonna go back to the sofa at the back. But you've got this awesome table here with no legs so you don't have to worry about hitting your knees. These <coughs> chairs, we actually sat in these. They are quite comfortable. There's a plug-in right down there. And this one is, is in there, but- Yes, it's, it's, it's strapped. It's strapped okay. down for- But this also transit. makes a table. Uh, yes, it does um, those. Yeah, you can kind of see the mechanism there. So you can pull it out, put it in front of your sofa for an end table, I mean a coffee table yeah. or a ottoman, whatever you need. But again, just look at these big windows. Uh, okay, now the sofa at the back. Let me come back to that real quick. This is a trifold. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I wanted to be sure. <laughs> yeah. And um this fabric on this is just a really pretty pattern, nice and neutral, so you can put any color with it. Now, if you sit in your theater seating, this is gonna have a televator. Um, again, we, we don't have power, so I apologize for that, but your TV will come up there. But if you wanna leave it down, you have this awesome little window right back there. Storage across the top. You've got a storage area right there, great for stashing your DVDs or remotes and a big electric fireplace down here. You actually have really good floor space in here, so you could put um, easily a five by seven rug mm. in here if you wanted to kind of warm up the area a little bit. On your island, you've got a plug-in right there at the end. Solid surface countertops, um, large uh, black stainless steel sink, high-rise faucet with a sprayer, Wow. Pull out garbage cans and this most awesome paper towel holder. We just love this. So you can leave it in the drawer or you can take it outside with you. Moving on around. You've got even more storage here under your sink. You have a little space right here that you, if you like to put um, scrubbies or sponges in there. Nice drawer. Big drawers. Uh, I'd like to point this out. These are um, the little dovetail finish on that. And this is wood. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is wood. So these feel just like residential cabinets. Okay. Back here, more solid surface countertops, more drawers, and there's oh, just awesome. You've got a big three burner cooktop with an oven. You have storage underneath it. More cabinets, more drawers. Oh, these are. Oh. Yeah, your spice rack there. Mm -hmm. so that cool. is so cool. Yes. Um, have a plug in there. There's light switches under there, which I'm sure is for your accent lighting in your, um, these little accent lights here. Oh man, I wish we had power so we mm -hmm. could turn all that on. Storage on both sides of your microwave, big, big microwave. microwave. Wow. You do have an exhaust fan up above the kitchen area. You've got a big side-by-side -side fridge. Yes. Super nice. Uh, flush slide down here so you won't hit your toe on anything. And then this pantry. Mm. Wow. And these shelves are adjustable. There's a plug-in in there. So if you need to, well, I guess you could put a coffee pot in there or uh, some kind of appliance mm -hmm. if you need to. Lots of storage up there. Uh, kind of yeah, all kinds of fun things. TPS, backup, backup camera. Cameras. Yes. Open storage right there. Um, nice coffee bar. More, yes, more solid surface. Love this. Ooh, this is an actual. Actually, that is, yeah. A, yeah, that's an actual backsplash. That's not one of those part of one of those boards. Yeah. Wow. Um, and down below that. Little more storage. Mm. Your control, your, oh, uh, not control. Your fuses are hidden down here. Your controls are up here. That's where your AC yeah. control is. Yes. 
And um, in, case I, in case I forgot to point it out, there is your first one, and this one is going to have two. All right, let's, let's... And I meant to point this out also here. This is a Bluetooth speaker that no. will Bluetooth... I, I don't know if it works through your TV or if mm -hmm. it just Bluetooths like through your phone or something mm -hmm. to play music. Yeah, Brinkley's are new to us, so we're we're still trying to learn everything. But let's go right up. Oh, wait, we're not finished here yet. <laughs> Forgot about this. Very awesome coat closet just as you come in the door. And tall storage up here. I don't know if I can get all of that. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, again, we don't have lights in here, so we're hoping that this is going to show up well. But when you come into the bathroom, um, they give you a mirror up here, which is really neat. I haven't seen anybody do that. Nice hooks already in place. They do have a tissue holder. It is magnetic. Um, well, I can't get it there. It has a, a magnet right here that holds it in place, or you can put it wherever you need. Your foot flush toilet is at an angle, so it's in really good position. Now these showers are just so cool. They're a one piece shower. Yeah. I mean, you have practically no step up getting into it. Um, Jeremy is six feet tall. No so problem. No problem in here. Big shower head with all these extra, not faucets, what are these? Nozzles. Sprayers. <laughs> And I like that they give you little baskets for your shampoo so they don't just slide around everywhere. Um, you do have a really good sized linen closet. Your, um, water your water heater control is back in the back of that. It's a little open space down there. They do give you a mirrored medicine cabinet above this sink. And this is a huge counter area and it's solid surface. Great big space underneath that. And this is just and a then little that's just to access, access stuff. Yes. Yeah. But I like that they I like that they made it look nice. Yes. Now the bathroom has got two entries. And this you just with locks here, mm -hmm. mash down, pull it to you. So it is an actual pocket door and yes. not just a sliding door. Yeah. So I'm gonna let him go through that way. Okay. I'm gonna come in through the hall. Uh, now this is going to be actually a mid pro so it's not a full profile so you get a north south bed this is going to be a queen bed but you have nightstands on both sides oh. how awesome reading lights um power usb you've on got storage up above this is all the way across and then you've got more storage on each side and i love that if they don't go all the way down the side so you actually have and you've got little Yes, and you're going to have this on both sides. I think the one on this side is just a tiny bit smaller, but it's the same concept. Um, second AC already up here. This is going to have a wardrobe slide. And I'm sure it's got lights in here because there's a light switch. Oh, yes. Nice hanging bars. Wow. And big drawers down here. Those those are really big drawers. Make so you have piece. four of those, yes. Mm. Super, super nice. And your TV in here is already in place. And I was fascinated by these hooks. These are just amazing to me. I love those. That's such a great <laughs> idea. Of course, it doesn't take much to amuse me, apparently. Oh. But um, uh, there is going to be a little bit of storage underneath the bed. Well, actually, a good bit of storage underneath the bed. Um, this, vent. yes, heating vent there, and this does not have Wait, your, wafer. your tiny, pathetic mattress. This no, actually nice, nice is a mattress. nice mattress. Yeah. Ooh, and those are very good shots too. Big windows back here, so you have lots of light coming through. I just, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. We're just, we are very impressed with, uh, the way these look and the way they feel. If, um... Some of you ladies will understand what I mean. You want to feel things. <coughs> and the cabinetry in this just is just excellent. Oh, 
All right, everybody. If uh, you like this Brickley 2900, the dealership's information will be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us a, th a thumbs up. And also a special thanks to A&L RV Sales for allowing us to do this. Thanks, everybody.